Hi, yogis. Lizzie Lassiter here today with a short practice called Touching into the Breath. I hope you're here because you're subscribed to my newsletter, which you can find at lizzie.yoga. Weekly encouragement to slow down and take better care of yourself. The breath is perhaps the most powerful tool we have to affect our autonomic nervous system to shift ourselves into a state of relaxation or even a state of more quietude. The breath is always with us. It requires no props. This is a no prop practice, but we are triggering, moving, shifting ourselves into a more restorative state of being, we could say. So when would you do this practice? This could be a standalone practice. This could be at the end of your asana practice. This could be something you could even do in bed if you're feeling really burned out, don't have the grit to get yourself onto the yoga mat yet. Completely okay. Be gentle with yourself. Even one conscious breath can shift your day. Last thing I'll say before we move to the mat, one definition that I love of yoga is that yoga is a state of being and the practices associated with that state. I'm offering the practices today, three different practices with the breath, but what we're after is the state. Do not confuse the state and the practices. I do it all the time. It's easy to confuse the state and the practices. We think dog pose is the yoga. The practices are merely associated with the state. We know that I know that when I practice dog pose, I'm more likely <laughs> to taste the state of yoga in my day. When I practice conscious breathing, this is sort of breath awareness practices. These are pre-pranayama practices, I would say. I know that those practices help me to get closer to the state of yoga. But when we remember this split between the practices and the state, I think it helps us to be more gentle with ourselves when we're doing the more gentle practices, like the breathing that we're going to do today, that we remember that the goal is to move into the direction of the state of yoga. And we actually, I'm actually interested in the smallest amount of practices that will help me shift into the state of yoga, the minimum viable dose, if you will. I'm gonna sit in Virasan on a block, moving the flesh of my calves directly back. Don't roll it to the side, that adds a little torque in the knee, but move your calf flesh back away, yeah. You can sit like this, you could sit on the floor cross-legged, you could sit in a chair. What's important here is that you find a physical posture that helps you feel dignified in your body, uplifted. We're going to move the arms on an inhalation. Inhale, scoop the arms up. And exhale, draw them down. Inhale. And exhale. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. Let the breath fill as much as possible your whole awareness. Four more breaths. One more. Inhale. Exhale. 
really. Couple breaths here. Feeling the effect. Absorbing the effects of those movements. Now we're going to lie down. We don't need any props. Come onto your back. Bend your knees. Now we're going to move the arms and the hips together. On an inhalation, press into the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale. Tracking the breath and the movement together. We'll do about 10 rounds here. It's not about the amplitude or the size of the movement. It's about how subtly you can combine the movement and the breath, how closely those can be linked. About four more breaths here. And last breath. Pause here. Deep breath to observe the interior state created by slow breath and movement. Our last breathing practice is done lying down. The feet are wide, the knees are together, constructive rest, the belly is soft. You can place the hands on the belly if that feels good or to the side. Close your eyes. We're moving in the direction of Samavritti. You're going to count silently to yourself, inhaling maybe to four to five, no force, no strain. And then I like to pause. It's a hint of a pause at the top of the breath. Then exhale the same count, four, five. And then a pause at the bottom, a hint of a pause. It's not a holding or a kumbhaka. It's just an inhale, almost a hiccup. And an exhale. We pause. Okay, we'll do about eight breaths, 10 breaths. You'll be breathing on your own. No force, no strain, no ambition. It's not about breathing more. Let's begin, inhale.
Mouth closed through the nose. Let go of the counting. Normal breath in. Normal breath out. Roll to the side. And press up to sitting. Inhale, open the palms away from the body. Exhaling, bring them together in front of the third eye, the mouth, and then the heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. Thank you for being here. I believe that my practice supports you and your practice supports me. Please subscribe to my newsletter. L-I-Z-Z-I-E dot yoga. We'll see you next week.